Pirates of the Caribbean is up next for us, and I don't know about anyone else, but I think we find that when we get home, this is the ride that we quote the most. Definitely. Not unless they be lean. Gordon eggs. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video. Today is going to be a full on Magic Kingdom day. We was up early this morning getting our virtual queue for Tiana's. We don't know what exactly what time we've got it, it's boarding groups isn't it? So we're boarding group 52. So it's going to be midday kind of time. But that's going to be really exciting because it'll be our first time ever riding that. That only opened up like what? Three, four, five months ago? No, I think it's not five months. Was it really? Yeah, I think so. A couple of weeks ago that opened up, so it was still very new, very looking, very much looking forward to doing that. We Rachel you want to get a coffee? Yeah, I got my coffee from the lobby at Starbucks. I love that there's a Starbucks in the hotel lobby. Yeah, so she can manage to get a coffee fix. We've got an Uber over to Magic Kingdom and now we're just gonna decide which way we're actually getting to Magic Kingdom, whether we're gonna take the monorail or we're gonna take the ferry boat. Probably take the monorail. But yeah, full day, we're going to be here all day, just right up into the evening as well because we want to get happily ever after fireworks. So everything that is to be doing at Magic Kingdom, we're hopefully going to be doing it. So yeah, join us. And there is a monorail about to pass us there. Magic Kingdom baby. Magic Kingdom. We feel like everyone's heading towards the monorail, so we're actually going to go ferry boat. We did also manage to get a bit of a discount on our Uber. It was 25% off for one reason or another. It didn't actually say why there was 25% off. But instead of it being, what, $25, it was $16, something like that. I can't remember exactly. But we managed to get a good deal on that, which we're happy with, because we were prepared to be paying about $30 for that Uber. Once we get a few hundred more people on here, we'll be getting you guys on your way. Grand Floridian Hotel in how many months? Eight months. In eight months, that's where we'll be spending our first night as a married couple. Oh! <laughs> M I C K E Y. <laughs> Good morning. We're in. We've been accepted. <laughs> First thing that we're actually going to do is hit a couple of the shops. Um, I need to do a bit of damage control. I don't know whether anybody's noticed, but there's something missing from this general area. Uh, I'll explain all of it in a bit, but shops first. Hello. Good morning. So Rachel actually left all of her Disney ears at home and forgot to bring them on their trip. And there may be a possibility that I may have been to blame for that. <laughs> Rachel keeps all of her Disney ears in a box in the house and I was sorting out the house last week and I moved that box into the garage. With and the spiders. No, not the spiders. It's With not that spiders. no, it's don't it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> It's not that bad. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was a kind of out of sight, out of mind situation for Rachel. And yeah. because they weren't in her uh, usual spot or anything, she forgot them. I did think one day I'll need to ask Ben to bring the ears in and then I forgot. So, like I said, there may have been a chance I've been to blame for that. But she's found a new pair now. She's got these little mermaid ones. And it actually goes really well because The pastel colours go with her pastel outfit. She's going for like a pastel theme here with these colours and what have you. Cycling shorts, keep everything light and breezy. Oh, bing bong bag. Who's your pal who likes to play? But I will say that for today only, I am actually Donald's number one fan. Rachel's not Donald's number one fan. I'm the one wrecking Donald here. Donald number one fan. <laughs> I've taught him well, taught him well. It's looking like a busy main street today, but the site we're all here for is the castle. 
in all of her glory. I think Rachel said she wants to get some pictures now because I did say, well, why don't we wait until a bit later on until the crows die down? But uh, you said that your hair is just going to explode. It's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> right for her. So it's 9.30 a.m. before we get too involved with the day. We want to get a quick breakfast stop here at Gaston's Tavern as Rachel has saw a snack online that she wants to snack on. What's yeah. the what's the snack called? It's a creme brulee croissant. Creme brulee croissant. Basically what it says on the tin, it's a croissant filled with vanilla flavoured custard. Yes, basically. Yeah. And it's something Rachel has been wanting to try for a while. So you can do the honours. You got to the vanilla? Not yet. No vanilla yet? No, just croissant. Yeah, so there's the custard there. It's kind of like a jam donut where you eat half of it, you don't get anything, but then the other half is filled with it. Yeah. Nice. It's nice. I feel like the creme brulee is a bit lacking. First ride of the day for us, fitting with Rachel's new ear theme, is going to be the Little Mermaid and bonus, it's coming up as a five minute wait. So we are starting the day strong as far as wait times go. I really love the potato barrels that you get at the Disney buffet restaurants across site, but we're not doing any Disney dining this trip, we're not doing any breakfast buffets or anything. But that didn't stop me getting any potato barrels. I headed over to okay. Brian Nook's Brats and Tuts over here in Magic Kingdom and picked up a portion. I was literally only after a few, like a small portion, of a cup full or something, but you get this huge plate, which is a lot of tots there, but got two cups of water as well just to keep us hydrated. First tot of the trip. Last tot, oh it won't be last tot, but only tot of the trip. Oh, hot. Are they as good as you remember? I love them, I love them. Oh, I've got a triple tot, can't eat that. Up next for us is the Haunted Mansion, which is posting a 35 minute wait time. But we don't actually mind waiting that 35 minutes because we haven't been on this since they added the Hatbox Ghost. So it's going to be a first for us. So if, yeah, if you don't know, which I'm sure you do, they added the new Hatbox Ghost. It's basically like a, a projection screen, isn't it? But it's a new character inside a ride that we both really enjoy and it's something that we haven't seen. So we don't mind waiting. To be fair, it's only 35 minutes anyway. It's not crazy. It's not as if it's 40 or 50, which to be fair, if it was, we would possibly be tied into doing because, like I said, this is a one and done day, it's either C or so. Here floats Captain Culpepper Klein, allergic to dirt, so he's pickled in brine. He braved the sea and all her wrath, but drowned on land while taking a bath. Consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way.
selected you to fill our quota and will want you until you return. And what ride on the Haunted Mansion wouldn't be complete without a visit to Memento Mori, the Haunted Mansion gift shop afterwards. Ghoulish Harmony Club, come out to socialise, I actually really like that. I like the branding as well on the sleeve. Haunted Mansion Waffle Maker. <laughs> I like these as well, like just for like snacks, chips and stuff. Currently making our way through Bear Country, heading over towards Big Thunder, which is currently on a 40 minute wait. We're heading this way intentionally because our Tiano boarding group's uh, number's in the 50s. It's currently boarding in the 40s, so we should get called for that in a minute. So hopefully by the time we've queued for Big Thunder, yeah. rode Big Thunder, we'll get off that and our boarding group will get called. We're actually looking forward to this Tiano. I mean, Splash for me was probably, no there's no probably about it, it was my actual favourite ride here in Magic Kingdom. So when they announced it was closed and I was obviously really disappointed, but when they announced it was going to be rethemed to a Tiana adventure kind of style ride, I thought it could work, it does work, on paper it works, but on paper and the real thing are two completely different things. So I just hope that the ride's good and it does it justice and it doesn't trample on the reputation that Big uh, Splash had. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's going to be very like visually pleasing. Yeah, I think it's going to do a good job. Fingers crossed. But first, we need to hold on to our hats and glasses. Oh, we've got your shirts and jackets. Shirts and jackets, hats and glasses. I do forget, you know I forget. You're making fun of me. <laughs>
Tiana's Bayou Adventure, what do we think? I thought it was amazing. Yeah, we're both really happy with how it come out, how it's turned out. I think going into it, I was just worried that they were going to take too much away from Splash, but I think because it's still jungle slash rainforest themed in there, it's still got a little bit of Splash still left in there somewhere. Yeah. I think if they were completely to gut it and turn it into some kind of sci-fi space ride, and it would just completely lost everything that it was. But because there's still a little bit of Splash there that I feel, it, it kind of, it, 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 it went well. And they've still got like critters in there, so it still feels like maybe yeah. some characters from that are still in there. Yeah, it's aged well, put it that way. But um, we did also pick up a pin as well. We like to pick up pins for our first experiences, so first hotel stays, first rides, things like that. So yeah, we picked up a pin there. But yeah, really happy with how that came out. Really we were nice. going to try the beignets, but we've read online and things that the beignets aren't that great. They're quite thin and airy. Yeah. Whereas the beignets over at Port Orleans, I think have got a better reputation. Not that we're going to do that on this trip, but just for future you know, reference. I think from what we've seen and from other people's vlogs over at the hotel at Port Orleans, they're quite thick over there. So that'll be the ones that look quite thick. Almost like donuts, you know, quite thick. Whereas the ones that we've seen here are quite airy, almost empty. But uh, yeah, other than that, absolutely fantastic. We have just started to take a quick drink break because weather check, it's currently 32 degrees and humid, very humid. So definitely needed a drink. Pirates of the Caribbean is up next for us. And I don't know about anyone else, but I think we find that when we get home, this is the ride that we quote the most. Definitely. Not unless they be lean. Gordon eggs. <laughs> All right, row one, row one. Why anchor now, you swamis? What may I offer for these hearty heads? Every one an egg layer. Not less they be laid. Golden eggs. Quit your clucking. The gentlemen want the rum. Don't you, boy? <laughs> We are taking another food pit stop and we picked up a couple of these cheeseburger spring rolls. What were the other ones you used to eat before they stopped? Yeah, they did like um, a special 50th celebration one, which was really nice. I oh, what was in it. but now it's just them and I think it's all pepperoni, and pepperoni pizza. Ones, yeah. But you're not a fan of pepperoni, are you? I'm not a fan of pepperoni. Pretty good, very nice. Pretty good, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a first for us, a Disney World Magic Kingdom first. We're going to go and do the Hall of Presidents for two main reasons, to be honest with you. First reason is aircon. Second reason is we believe there's some kind of sit-down show, so cushion, cushioned seats. Cushioning seats and aircon right now is goals. Heading over to Tomorrowland for the first time of the day. Does anybody else find that when they come to Magic Kingdom, they do the area subconsciously? So you'll go to Frontierland and you'll do all the rides in Frontierland, then you go to Fantasyland, do all the rides there, and like we're doing now, come over to Tomorrowland and do the rides here, instead of just like ping-ponging all over. The I suppose it just makes practical sense as far as time goes. Yeah, stick to one area. Yeah, stick to one area, complete the area, then move on. Space Mountain is currently posting a 45 minute wait, which isn't too bad. It's about the maximum I'd wait for this ride. Everyone's kind of got their maximum wait times and minimum wait times that they'd wait yeah. for rides. See, for us, we're not huge fans of Snow White and the Seven Dwarf Mine Train. Yeah. A lot of people would wait, well, people do wait an hour plus for that, but we wouldn't wait. I wouldn't do half an hour for that. No, I mean, Whereas I would wait 45 minutes for this. Yeah, definitely. Tron's another one, because Tron's now on a normal standby, a queue. standby queue. Uh, what's it currently at? Um, it was at a 70 minute wait the last time we changed. Would we wait that? I'm not sure we would. Oh, so what's it down to before we would actually go for it? Oh, it's at 65 now. Okay. Under an hour? Under an hour. So if that goes under an hour, we'll do it? Yeah. Okay. Space Mountain is a thrilling high-speed, turbulent roller coaster type ride in the dark that includes sharp turns, sudden drops, and stops. Did you forget how good that was? 
Oh, look at her as well. People mover is a 100% walk on. Hey, this should be moving. <laughs> Two, please. Go ahead. Perfect, thank you. I fear. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. Let's see if we can get any waivers. Two in the bag. Oh, we've got more coming out. Let's try it again. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward facing tentacles clear on all vehicles. Thank Magic's you. dead. So this is a first for us. We were just due to get off, but the cast member asked if we wanted to re-ride. So we yes. So we just right to replied. Yes, we do. I've never had that before. Usually it's like, you know, exit to the left. I think it's because it's a walk uh, we'll go again. The Tomorrowland Speedway is a ride that we haven't rode in since when? Like, first trip in 2018. So, five minute wait, let's do it. I've asked them if they can suit mine up. Let's see what Ben's driving's like. This is a terrible driving. There's no brake. There's no side mirrors. There's no, there's no rear view mirror. And this wheel's not very responsive. <laughs> it's got no power steering. So the Are you trying to see if there's anyone? No, we're good. <laughs> this girl, look at this girl in front of me. She's trying to get selfies while driving herself. <laughs> Definitely something we'll do again. Purple wall, selfie. We're just gonna head over onto Main Street now and check out a couple of the shops. I mean, there's nothing specific that we're looking to buy. We did want to get the um, pin for Tiana's, which we did get. Rachel has got her eye on a jumper, which we can get at Disney Springs, which we'll go into in a couple of days' time. So we'll get that there. It's just more of a chance just to take it chill a little bit. If there's anything that jumps out at us, we'll pick up. But uh, yeah, we'll go to the shop, show you around anyway. It's a good mug. We are mug people, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> How much is that mug? That is 1999. I don't think that's that bad. No, the ones we were looking at there were 25 and they were just like standard Donald. Is that a slab of chocolate? Uh, yeah, milk chocolate with popping candy. Wow. Joffrey's, Hocus Pocus Joffrey's. Donald Duck lounge fly. Oh, look the different Oh, it goes evolved. through. Yeah. Nice. Show the back. 
Oh, wow. 90 years of frustration. Yeah, we hear you, Donald. <laughs> Imagine pairing that spirit jersey with this bag. That's Donald flexing. <laughs> I've decided to eat first. I'm eating at Casey's Corner. Rachel doesn't fancy a Casey's Corner, so you're going over to the Pinocchio's house. Yeah, on the back side of the castle. Yeah. But I just went for some French fries and I got a foot long hot dog, which seems to get bigger every time I order it. I don't know where that's <laughs> what's going on there. Also went for an orange Fanta. Again, this is something that I've only found that they sell here at Casey's Corner. I've been looking for orange Fanta at other places where I imagine. Yeah, Kingdom, and they haven't found and it. And they haven't found it. it. Seems to be like a Casey's Corner exclusive. Well, to be fair, it is the biggest Fanta in the world. Yeah, so. and we've also got some amazing music. I don't know whether you can hear behind, but the, there's the pianist playing it. Yeah. And we've also got an amazing view of the castle. Disney Duck is looking for snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. That's what they're saying. Snack, snack. Now I've had my fill, we're going to make our way over to Pinocchio's Village House. Yes, just at the back of Fantasyland. Rachel Fantasy in there. We've actually just walked through the castle. Walking through the castle is not something we usually do. We always really, I don't know why, walk around it, don't we? Yeah. But yeah, Casey's was amazing, very full now. We did want to say a quick hello and thank you to Barry and... Erica. Barry and Erica, who we bumped into in the shops back there on Main Street while we were uh, just having a look around. Yeah, thanks for coming over, thanks for saying hello. We hope you enjoyed your trip. And yeah, thanks for watching the videos, do appreciate that. We always appreciate people coming over, saying hello and, you know, just talking in general. We're Florida people, we're Disney people, we're Universal people. The chances are if you're here, you are too, so there's always something to talk about. So if you do ever see us, come over and say hello. It's appreciated. Pinocchio is village Hoss, not house. Hoss, Hoss. I think it's pronounced house. Yeah, it was German Hoss. Hello. Uh, we're going to mobile order that way. That way. Thank you very much. So Rachel's was a meal that she specifically saw and specifically noted down before we came out here, wasn't it? So yeah. what is it you've gone for? Obviously we've got french fries, but yes. what's this? This is a chicken parmesan sandwich. And have you read anything? Do you know anything about it? Or is it just something that you saw you're into and you thought, I want a bit of it? No, it's crispy chicken, marinara sauce and parmesan cheese. Nice. It is now 6.30. And our bodies are starting to send up warning signals. <laughs> we're trying to fight through it, we're trying to fight through the pain. We've got one more ride before we've really got to get our spot for the fireworks. And we've chosen a piece of pan, which is currently posting a 30 minute wait. That'll take us up to about an hour and 15 minutes before half the after starts. Yeah. So then, once we've done this, we'll go get our spot and watch. Da, 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 da. time lied it ended up being about 65 minutes not 35 minutes back there which means that it's pushed our plans back for happily ever after we wanted to try and get a better spot but now it's pushed back we ended up having to probably settle for a spot it's looking very busy take a look We found our spot for Happily Ever After and we've actually got the perfect spot, the ideal spot we wanted. We wanted somewhere that was just off right to the castle. So Tink goes above our head, which she does roughly about here. So yeah, during the show when Tink launches out of that castle, she should go straight over us, which is you know an angle we've never got before. We're usually off left or straight on or really up close. We've never actually got to see Tink this close. So yeah, good stuff. Go. Yeah. Let your dreams. 
has got to. Reach out and find your happily ever. second time we were a bit harsh judging it so harshly the first time i still think that it's still too short it's been a bit longer yeah yeah once you go into the room it just seems to be over very quick the outside bit's fantastic once you go inside it just seems to be over a bit too fast and i think that would be my only niggle i do enjoy the rest of it i think it's a brilliant ride but i just wish it was a bit longer and this is where we are going to be ending the night eating a couple of ice creams at 22 11 at the night 22 11 at the p.m sat in front of the castle on the green what a day what an end to the day absolutely it's fantastic been a long one. it's been a long one it's been about 13 13 hours and 40 minutes ish yeah absolutely crazy didn't think we were going to have it in us i thought there was a few times when we were going to have to say that yeah we're just going to have to call it here yeah, enough's it's enough it's also been very hot today hasn't it yeah. it's been like 33 degrees sun out all day yeah no we've done really well good job we did want to say a quick hello and thank you to becky and steve who came over and said hello to us when we were watching we're waiting for happily ever after we ended up watching happily ever after with them got talking for about an hour and a half it really nice fun, couple yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good to talk to you guys. Thanks for watching the vlogs. Thanks for coming over and saying hello. We ended up walking over to Trom with them as well. Yeah. Yeah, they had lightning lanes though. Which, lucky them. We didn't have lightning lanes. We had to queue for an hour. So we had to queue for an hour. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for coming over and saying hi, guys. It was great to meet you. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your trip. But yeah, fantastic day. We knew we were going to have to go hard today. It kind of contradicted what I said yesterday about us wanting to set more of an easy, easy going time this trip. But we've kind of done it in reverse. Usually we come to Disney and then we'll go to, we'll have a lot of time to do Disney and we'll have a couple of days to do Universal. So Universal has always been a rush, whereas this time Universal's slow and easy going, but Disney's the rush. Yeah. So it's kind of a bit alien that today was our first day in Magic Kingdom and it was also our last day in Magic Kingdom, which is why we had to go as hard as we did. Yeah. But what a day, fantastic day. We've got lots done. We've got lots done. Yeah, we've got lots done. But yes, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to eat these 
end it here, get in an Uber and pass out. But what a place to end the day. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll, next week, what's happening next week? What's happening tomorrow? We don't know yet. We don't know. Yeah. We're going to see how we feel when we get up, basically. Yeah, it's going to be one of those mornings. We don't know what time we're going to get up. We'll see what time we get up. Tune back in next week to find out what we got up to. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye.